folks, welcome aboard Thursday night, cacophony evening. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, you're a little late, uh, but that's okay. Everything's still in our archives, so you can catch up. If you're back for more, thank you very much. We certainly appreciate that. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D with us, uh, hit us up on our Discord channel. If you want to buy cool stuff like a cool t-shirt or a cool phone case or a cool bath mat, uh, check us out, uh, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. I think that shit is on sale for 12 bucks and uh, t-shirts and 40% off, something like that, uh, for another day or two. So uh, get it while it's hot. <clears throat> also, if you want to be on the show, either on Tuesday's talk show or a one shot, like this Saturday, uh, hit us up, mhobo inc, Twitter or Gmail. We uh, will push first timers up to the front. So we do have a one shot going on this Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, Green Room at 7.30. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors like Pirate Dog Dice for dice that may or may not kill the party tonight. Uh, I have told both of them that they are up against kind of a badass. Uh, we originally considered Ending cacophony. We got uh, Steve. We, It'll be okay. Uh huh. We may still Steve. end it. They may die. Uh, we may continue. Hard to say, folks. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like raging success. Uh, mm -hmm. Try some adventure scents by oddfishgames.com. They come in a plethora of aromas, a lot of pleasant, some not so, and putrid sewers. Uh, <laughs> oddfishgames.com is also the maker of the shine system. So if you want to write like me, only gooder, uh, check out their shine system. And of course, just a day or two away from how to RPG with your cat Kickstarter. Uh, highly recommend. I've played it. I had a great time. I'm going to be back at it. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Oddfishgames.com. Uh, folks, this is the Cacophony series. Maybe the ending. We aren't sure. We've been kicking it around. Uh, these guys are eighth level, but let's introduce you to them. Uh, we'll start with David. David, who are you? Who do you play? Hi, I'm David. Uh, tonight I will be playing Zadar. Hopefully not for the last time, but possibly for the last time. Uh, I'm also regular on Between the Rolls, and I am our king on our Calamity campaigns, both A side and B side. So, but yeah, that's me. So, and you're muted. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> don't forget, folks, this is for mature audiences only. Uh, next up, last but certainly not least, our producer, normally behind the camera tonight, she is both in front of and behind the camera, my wife, Carrie. Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm Carrie. I play Camille. <laughs> Steve. I have to. <laughs> wizard necromancer and current puppy wrangler of course you are yeah, come on uh, that's so in the credits actually <laughs> <laughs> folks these guys have uh grown up from first level to their current station of eighth level uh the first six or so levels uh it was all urban uh so if you're curious about urban adventures Check out our earlier episodes in the archive, either audio or audio video. Uh, these guys are now on a mission from their friend and quasi mentor, Mortimer J. Sneed, to drop an item into a volcano on a foreign island. Mortimer himself is having some time travel problems uh, that well known associate. Uh, Crap, what's her name? Zephyr. Zephyr. Zubek uh, <laughs> has informed the party that uh, he seems to be aging rapidly the more he goes back in time. First time they met Mortimer, of course, uh, was Rock of Ages, and uh, truly one of our better episodes. Uh, <clears throat> so these guys have been back in time as well, but uh, tonight they are in their current time. They are on the island of Ilsa de Cursione. Uh, and they have found a new friend called Maurice Lucinda. Uh, he is a shipwreck victim. Uh, he was on a passing merchant ship when uh, it was scuttled, and he was the sole survivor. Uh, the group caught a ride on the Minotaur ship where Daphne, our third player, is going to go ahead 
and just keep banging uh, a friend that she met on the ship. Uh, they like got a, a drum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, so these guys are down to just two people in the party. Uh, they've managed to move about uh, three quarters of the way across the island. When we met them last, uh, they had their ship pushed in uh, by some renegade monster. Uh, but they have found the foodoo berries that grow wild here. Uh, the group was unfamiliar with them. Uh, however, uh, Maurice knew all about it. <laughs> While they have healed a little bit, they are low on spells, and they are still a good hour, hour and a half away from uh, trying to forge up Danger Mountain, or Mount Danger, I believe is how I put it. Uh, so we begin with, uh, you guys are a little battered, a little bloody, a little low on spells. What would you like to do first? We need a rest. We do. Didn't, didn't we throw up the mansion or something? <laughs> I've got a Morden whatever's private sanctum. That's it. You can use that. That's it. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so are you guys going to do the long rest then, I take it? Mm-hmm. That'll mm -hmm. put you out at about 4 a.m. Uh, so you throw up the private sanctum. Go ahead and explain to us what that spell does, please. Okay, uh, you make an area within range magically secure. The area is a cube that can be as small as 5 feet to as large as 100 feet on each side. The spell lasts for the duration or until you use an action to dismiss it. When you cast the spell, you decide what sort of security the spell provides. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yes. So are you going to go for the convention hall? Uh, no, just enough for us. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit Hall A. Here we go. Uh, you have no mounts, so that's okay. Uh, you throw up, throw it up, and uh, uh, Mr. Lucinda uh, himself has some foodstuffs that he is most willing oh. to share. If you guys will go ahead and tell him tales of your daring do. Who wants to start, and what story would you like to tell? Oh dear. Uh, I'll let Zadar do that. I am not a good storyteller. Under the bus goes Zadar. What yeah, story of course. would you like to uh, regale him with? I regale him with our times in Cacophony. Uh, you know, <laughs> growing up on the mean streets. <laughs> wow. Uh, the mob, you know, had a run-in with the mob. Uh, let's say culminated in a <laughs> banana dance for Zadar. <laughs> I'll, and then, uh, then we embarked on our epic journey uh, to Tolosia, and I'll let Camille take it from there. <laughs> oh, let's see. Wow, riveted! I was riveted. Well, hey. we, we had to do a home investigation with the frost giants. That went kind of south. Um, we were put in jail for a while in cacophony. Yeah, falsely uh, accused of murder. Yeah, oh, don't forget um, that. Let's see. Oh, Hopefully. we had uh, we drug one of our party members over the side of a airship, whacked her face right into the side of a castle. That was kind of awesome. Nice. So there's been he, a lot. Uh, green for Zadar, orange and white for Camille. Uh, Zadar, that's a three. Uh, your story. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired, dude. That's, that's okay, a good, that's a good story, my friend. Uh, oh. Sixteen for Camille's story. He seemed to be very entertained with you. Uh, give me an insight check, both of you. Oh boy! All right. Uh, sixteen for Zadar. Where is my insight? Uh, 17. Uh, both of you get the feeling that uh, Maurice isn't so much enthralled with the story as he is with the storyteller. Of course. Uh, remember, uh, Maurice is a shipwreck survivor, uh, hasn't seen any chicks in a while, most likely. Right. Uh, <laughs> at least he's not a rapist. Okay. That we know yeah. of. So, uh, you know. As far he, as we know. He's not he's not a bad guy. He's very respectful to you. Okay. He insisted that you uh, heal yourself first. Uh, he's looking out for you, but you can tell that there's a little twinkle in his eye. Uh, so he asks, what exactly are you doing on the island? And 
part two, could I get a ride back? Uh, well, we're here to take an <clears throat> item for a friend of ours. And I, I guess as you know, long as everything turns out okay, you can come back with us. Uh, he, he's, I he's hate to leave of, you stranded here. He's kind of a little bit concerned about the if everything works out part. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. If everything works out part and you well, know, the volcano doesn't erupt, then I think we're good. I think you got to ride back. Yeah, he, he does point out that uh, he, he's not much of a fighter, but he uh -huh. will gladly assist both of you in the endeavor uh whatever it might be since you guys seem to have glossed over it now is he human he is human okay. he's a kind of a shorter human though okay oh that explains it uh, okay the tall jessica <laughs> rabbit one sure <laughs> um you intimidate him yeah probably so yeah i mean I, hey I don't maurice wanna... ever seen the crying game <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want you to get in any trouble, but sure. Milady, if it comes between you and danger, I will go ahead and insert myself. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I, think he, I think he meant assert himself, right? No, uh, no, no, no. Semantics. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mor Maurice is a nice guy. Uh, it doesn't appear as though he's dropping any uh, innuendos, but you know, you never can tell. This is my game. At least he has not flung urine or poo at you. Uh, uh, that's true. <laughs> I say, oh, I appreciate that, but you know, we're a little bit more experienced, so you might want to hang back a bit. Sure. No, that's But I appreciate fine. any help that you would offer. Well, uh, he points out that he is actually a herbologist by trade. <laughs> uh and deals in sense um and he goes on and he kind of uh eh, not mansplain but you know kind of professor scholarly style explains it um go Have ahead and you give me seen a who our best friend is it's like come <laughs> on dude yeah. give me a constitution check to see how long you can listen to him uh <clears throat> the already asleep <laughs> Uh, okay. 16. Oh, Constitution. Sorry, I forgot to add my Constitution modifier. Oh, yeah, that's five. <laughs> yeah, uh, Zadar is just kind of sacked out. So uh, as Maurice notices Zadar kind of drifting off, uh, he focuses attention on you, Camille. You guys have a very in-depth discussion. You find out that he is uh, a purveyor of sense, and he has come up with a concept. Like adventure sense? Kind of like Adventure Sense, only without the putrid sewers. Nice. Uh, he has come up with this idea of uh, what he calls perfume, named after his mother. Uh, and that is where he takes the sense of uh, wild and uh, unusual flowers uh, and secretes them with oil, go ahead and lasting them. And then uh, you can unscrew the potion cap or uncork the potion bottle and just dab a little bit behind. Uh, he offers you a, a small vial. It is his only vial that oh. survived the shipwreck uh, and uh, offers it to you with gratitude uh, and points out you can call it early payment uh, for the ride. Well, do you have all of your notes? I mean, I don't want to take something from you if it's going to just not. Oh, no. My notes are up here, right here in the old noggin. And right here. <laughs> what happens if you get hit in the head and you lose them all? I've never been hit in the head, so I don't as, know. Okay. As long as he doesn't lose his sense of smell, he's fine. All right. <laughs> It'll be fine. Well, Gets the COVID. I say thank you, and I pocket it, and I say, you know, if if you ever need it, just let me know. But Not a problem, my lady. I really think when we get back, you should talk to Mortimer J. Sneed. I think he would be very interested in what you have to what you're talking about. I can do that. I, I've actually, uh, I've, I, I've explored most of this island, and I have to say, uh, I, I, I am having second thoughts about returning to the mainland. Uh, this island has everything I need. Uh, fruits and vegetables grow in abundance here. Uh, the volcano does not appear ready to blow, so I 
I, even if I return, I, I may return here and perhaps build a, build a home life for myself and retire. So the discussion goes on deep into the night uh, with you, Camille. You guys form a nice bond. He, he's just a really nice guy. You can throw him in the friend zone and forget him uh, if you want. Or, you know, there, there might be a love connection with Chuck Woolery here. Uh, before he went all ape shit political, so you ha you have that going for you. Also, I think you might be muted. I'm not sure. No, not no. at this point. Uh, the night passes uneventfully because, of course, the magical incantation will protect you from anything. Uh, does anybody want to go ahead and do a watch sequence? Do we uh, need to? Most likely, do not. Unless I mean, we're watching Maurice. <laughs> I mean, about the only thing you, you have to worry about is your newfound friend who seems rather harmless uh, or the volcano exploding. And I can guarantee you from your current location. We'll die anyway. You'll be fucked. So yeah. you don't have to worry about that. I mean, uh, could set but, up like a fire watch, I guess. I don't know. It's up to you guys entirely. <clears throat> I say let's all just rest. Okay. okay. Uh, both of you give me constitution checks. Ooh, 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, 19. Very good. Uh, each of you feel a shove on your shoulders. Uh oh. Hello? Your, your spell... Has ended. Has ended. Oh, fuck. Uh, light is coming up over the island, and uh, Maurice is gently tugging at your shoulders. I, I believe. I, be I, I believe we've overslept. It seems to be morning. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we better uh, keep going. Uh, yeah. The uh, your protection is gone. There was no interaction anywhere, so. No passing ogres or anything like that using you for target practice. Uh, Maurice uh, says he'll go out and look for food, if okay. that's okay with you guys. That works. Sure. Uh, as you guys, I, you know, I don't know what you want to do while he's off gathering Here, food. I'm going to kill the dog in a minute. <laughs> sure. <Go ahead. laughs> um, Zadar can kind of like walk the perimeter or whatever, kind of stealth around i don't know if we're like in a wide open field or if we're you are in, you are in a wide open field about 45 minutes away from the base of the mountain the mountain is quite tall uh so you will have to uh make a climb most likely a perilous climb oh okay <laughs> i mean it is, a, it is a mountain and you don't have a jeep four by four nope nope no, I do have magic though. So. You do have everybody has their their max hit points. Mm -hmm. uh, and what is your max hit points? Uh, for Z Zodar, fifty-eight, it's, right? Yep, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> and fifty for uh, Camille. So uh, one goes off looking for food. You're wandering the perimeter, uh, Camille. I will just state that she is just preparing, doing yoga. <laughs> doing morning stretches, whatever the hell uh, arcane Pilates. sorcerers do. That's right. You're doing the Pilates, sticking your ass in the air, a downward facing dog. I am. Yep. Uh, and as you do your morning stretches, your constitutional, what have you, something is moving in the high grasses. Uh, which direction from us? <laughs> it is to the left of Zadar, who was wandering the perimeter, and to the right where uh, Marcus or Maurice Lucinda is gathering food stuff, i.e., fruit, breadfruit, so dragon fruit. Does food. Zadar notice it? Nope. Am I the only one that hears it? Yep. I say, hey, I I'm hearing something in the grasses here. Okay, I'm alerted. <laughs> uh, only if your perception's high enough. Because Maurice's is not. Ugh. Oh no. Okay. 
Uh, perception is 19, Zadar. Uh, you Zadar's hear Camille. Around. Yeah, you could hear Camille. Uh, Caca! And... Caca! Caca! Look over here! Look over here! You, you start to return and you notice a large creature leap from the grasses. Uh, it uh, has four legs. It has a huge main and you will realize that this thing is a very very large lion uh let us go with initiative oh, it is it's not a weemic huh <laughs> not a weemic no uh, fucker damn it okay three uh uh 17 what do you want to do zadar the uh, creature has spotted you both and is going odd Camille even Zadar. Odd Camille is going to be its target. Oh, okay. Zadar is going to let loose a uh, magic missile. Fair. Okay. So, so is it directly in front of us? Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of splitting the difference. Between me and Zadar? Yep. Coming out of the high ground. I cast a web on it. Uh, you do not get to go yet. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, the missiles hit for three, five, and two force damage. Ten damage. Uh, next up is the lion. It will go ahead and pounce on the small halfling. And that's going to be an 18 on the roll. It is going to connect with the halfling. She oh, will no. need to make a strength check or be knocked prone. Uh, it's going to get one claw attack, and I'm going to use some of the brand new Murder Hobo Translucent Dice. And they strike true for nine points of oh. damage as they slash at her. Camille, give me a strength check. Okay. You're rolling at minus one. <laughs> uh, six. You are caught underneath the paw, the very large paw of this creature, and are knocked prone. This is very big. Very big. Uh, you can use your round to roll out from under it. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20. Or you can cast something. Uh, let's see what I got. Probably don't have anything good. You got magic missile. That's true. Well, let's do that. <clears throat> 3d4, please. Really? Come on, Kyle, get your dice in gear. I have them, but there's no fours out here. <laughs> Nine. Nine damage, 19. Uh, the large creature is injured, uh, making it angry. A loud war cry is heard, and you see a shadow leap in front of you, Camille. Uh, it is your trusty new friend Maurice, armed with a naughty limb, a wooden club, if you will. He swings heartily. Oh, a naughty climb. Oh, uh, club. I was like a naughty climb. Yes. <laughs> uh, with a 15. A big dildo. Uh, that's what he's sitting here with. Right. Uh, with vibrations. Uh, he connects. Uh, with a 15 and he is going to do 1d6 i will use the adventures in phil bar die and they failed him uh but he does hit it for three more uh top of the order uh zadar the creature is looking around most likely going to go after Camille again. What do you want to do? Okay. Um, sneak attack isn't going even though he's engaged with two other people, is he going to come into effect? He's not engaged with you, so that's fine. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Zadar is going to uh, sneak attack with a hand crossbow. Sure. Okay. Don't miss. You'll kill Maurice. 
<laughs> and then Barry will be mad. I forget what the other gib. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen does hit. Okay. All right. Excellent. All right. All right. The bolt itself is gonna strike for eleven, and then the pain train is gonna come come next. Uh, for twelve additional hit points. So twenty-three total. Nicely done. Uh, Camille, uh, the lion lurches out with its mouth. It appears to want to end your miserable life. I say, what a uh, dick. And a 10 is not going to do it. Yay. Uh, the teeth snap, very long fangs uh, snap. You and Maurice are now up. Uh, How about a little fire, Scarecrow? <laughs> do you have fire spells? I don't think I do. I have. Uh, I think I have fireball. Uh, you do not want to no. use that here. You don't okay. want to use that right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, then that would not no. be a good call. <laughs> Especially high grass. Yeah. Chill touch. Chill touch would work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have Firebolt? I don't think I do. Huh? My I cards are all screwed up. I cannot remember which ones you took. Uh, plus seven to hit. Okay. 17, so 24. 24 hits. And... Two D eight. Eight. You could do it. Nice. Uh max damage. Uh the lion starts to teeter and that naughty club comes a swinging with a nineteen. Ooh. Uh yeah, he brings the pain. Swings for the fences, man. Uh, and with four more hit points of damage, uh, that lion has a crushed skull, tongue hanging out, Aww. paw draped over you, Camille, still with the very uh, big claws. Uh, Maurice runs over, kicks the leg off of your body, and and holds you. Are you okay, my lady? Uh, I'm a little shaken up. I got a few scuffs here and there, but I'm a, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you let, for your help. Let let me go get some voodoo berries, and he takes yeah. off, um, just high speed and leads. Uh, Zadar, you and Camille are there. Uh, she she got bit hard, or she got clawed hard. So yeah, I think I used the last of my healing potion on her from the last attack. So he's going to get some voodoo berries, so that will probably take care of her. Okay. Hopefully, we can pocket those. <laughs> We're gonna well, know. you you got most of the bushes already, okay. so okay. Uh, we'll see how many he can recover. Uh, they are not fast growing, but they do grow. Uh, he's going to get three handfuls. So, okay. how many handfuls do you want to use, uh, Camille? Uh, I don't know how powerful are they. One d six plus one. I see, and you took what nine from me? Yep. Borrowed nine from me. Uh, 1d6 plus one. So one handful is 1d6 plus one. Yep. I'll just do no. one. Okay, no ones. Roll it. Four. Plus one, five. So you are four down. Would you like another handful? No, I'm good. Uh, he gives one handful to you anyway, and Zadari gives one handful to you as well. But he asks, would you like me to hang on to them for you, my brave friends? Uh, as long as you'll be there for us. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it would be kind of hard to fish them at, off of our unconscious bodies. That's right. So. We might need you to stuff them in our mouth at some point. <laughs> he, he will go ahead and put them back into his pocket. And he, he grips his club. He's like, ah, this reminds me of my uncle, Louisville. <laughs> he, he was Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou was a great guy. He, uh, he used to use a club. 
I think I might have gotten some of that in here. Did you see me whack that thing a couple times? Yeah, I appreciate didn't, it. Didn't stand a chance against me, so. So are we going <laughs> to skin this thing or whatever? Or Sure, sure. I don't. He goes, this would make an excellent cloak. Scary. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking Hercules style, you know. <laughs> I only have a plus one on animal handling, so. It is a uh, big Zadar's good. Lion. Zadar's good with survival and all that, plus he... You know, the, the animal stuff. handling the animal it correctly. Oh, all right. Zadar will give it a shot. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, I mean, the lion's just going to ride, right? Right, which is kind of sad. I feel bad. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see what I need. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, 17 plus 2, 19. Yeah, yeah, you, you, get, it, you get it skinned appropriately. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, you got the Mimi and Lion. I'm gonna kill the dogs first. Uh, so yeah, I'm you good actually, at skinning. <laughs> yeah, you actually skin it. Uh, you notice that uh, there is one anomaly on it. Uh, it must have been in a battle because there's a nice scar underneath the thigh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> At least fans, the hyenas didn't get it. <laughs> fan, fans of the animated Hercules will get that one. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, you you actually got it skinned rather well, and now you notice that there is some avian life here uh, in the forms of probably turkey vultures and other carrion uh, birds. Well, that'll make they're, them happy. They are not huge, so you know at least the corpse won't go to waste. Uh, and uh, Maurice asks if he could have a claw. Oh, but of course. Yeah. Yeah. Just one? And just one. Uh, I, I plan on making a neck. Actually, if I could have three, I will make us each necklaces for our, our victory here. But of course. As uh, Sadar will cry out three claws. <laughs> uh, Maurice uh, takes them, uh, offers his thanks, fiddles around in his pockets, and gets a a small little metallic item and goes, uh, and it's a switchblade. It's a stiletto switchblade. Nice. Uh, and he begins to work on it. He goes, are we, did, did you want to throw that thing in the volcano? Uh, yeah. yes. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a dangerous mountain there. That's the name. Uh, I'm with you. Let's do this. All right. Okay. He begins to whistle a tune as he starts to dig out a hole in the claws. Uh, you guys walk for about 45 minutes and you reach the foothills of it. Uh, it is not shale covered. Uh, it has multiple fissures in it. Uh, it should be fairly easy to climb uh, from appearances. Uh, it, it, it's not easy, but it, it's not, it does not appear deadly. However, uh, you are going to have to roll uh, either survival or acrobatics. Oh, uh, the choice is yours, and you will have to make this roll three times. Okay. Is it uh, a roll acrobatics, of course? Now, uh, do you want to rope yourselves together or freestyle it? It's up to you, Camille. <laughs> How secure you want to feel? <laughs> well, I, I guess we should rope ourselves together. I mean, are we troops when one when one goes? Yeah, <laughs> so I'm kind of like. Eh. Um, nah, let's freestyle it uh, that way, because I would feel guilty if I fell and took you with me. Okay. So. Oh. Uh, okay, make your first roll. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen. Twelve. Uh, both of you make it. Maurice does not. Uh, he, he slides down, gets uh, some lacerations. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And he starts looking around. It's clear that he dropped one of the claws. Uh, a few minutes later, <clears throat> got it uh, <laughs> and uh actually Let's makes see. up for lost time oh. uh so he catches yeah. up to you guys you guys are uh more or less 100 or so feet up there uh the, the gaps are starting to widen a little bit so i'm gonna have to have you guys make another roll 
Okay. Okay. 14. Um, yeah, 15 again for the Sadar. <laughs> All three of you continue your climb. Uh, you can hear the... Uh, Uh, and if you look down, Maurice uh, has just a stream of sweat. He's uh, he's not pudgy. Uh, he's not athletic. He's just uh, a common merchant, common mm -hmm. body. Uh, no magic mic here. Dad bod. Dad uh, bod. He's got a dad bod, and he's uh, <sighs> just going to take a breather. Sorry, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> take all uh, the time you need <laughs> uh, as you finish it up uh, you notice that this volcano sits on the side of the island so it's steeper on uh, the coastal area uh, mm -hmm. a, a little bit more shallow on this side where you guys are climbing I will take your third roll oh boy uh, uh, 11 11 okay um, uh, yeah Thirteen, lucky thirteen. Uh, you both continue up. However, Camille, uh, you feel a firm hand uh, on the small of your back as Maurice is making excellent time. Oh. <sighs> I think I got the hang of this, my dear. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I, I think I know. I, I think I figured it out. No, pace yourself, though. We don't want you having a heart attack. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys summarily get to the cusp of the volcano uh hot gases uh sulf sulfur smell uh and just just an ooze of uh white smoke uh the smell is quite acrid where are the not, eagles Ugh. not quite putrid sewers uh but you know it's it's there uh there's a slight ridge where you guys can stand and peer into the volcano uh, the mist seems to be coming from several jets down below. You can see the caldera is red hot, uh, and you can see the lava move and undulate uh, several hundred feet below. Every once in a while... Okay, I think uh, we need to dump this shit and get out of here. Small geyser. Well, first off, everybody give me con checks. <sighs> yeah. I knew that was coming. <laughs> uh, con check. Uh, Five. Uh, ten. Uh, one. Uh, all three of you are... Cunes. Uh, not, not doing so hot. Uh, who has the box? Zadar. What do you want to do with it? Mortimer said toss it into the volcano. And Does it look it. like if I threw it, I'd be able to clear it into the caldera itself? Oh, fuck yeah. This is a huge volcano. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you, you, could, you could just drop it and it would land in the lava because, you know, it's... Okay, I didn't know if we we had a yeah, little like bit of a way to down clear. There's going to be a tree branch down there that it snags <laughs> on. Right, it catches. You know, the dead yeah. body of a hobbit is right there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, no, it is a straight drop. There is no vegetation inside. Uh, it, it is jagged. If you wanted mm -hmm. to climb in and climb down, you'd oh, be more than that. Fuck that. <laughs> but you have to know that uh, while the gases are starting to affect you, they are clearly affecting Camille. And Maurice is starting to have flashbacks of his childhood, telling oh, his shit. mom that he doesn't want any porridge. Oh fuck! Uh, Potato. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> if you've seen Get Hard, you'll get that joke. <laughs> uh, 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 Potato. What the fuck? Uh, so yeah, whatever you're gonna do, Zadar, you probably should do it quickly because you're two yeah. associates are not handling the gas well. Yeah, Zadar, Zadar is just going to heave it into the volcano. No okay. light. So do I have to make a strength <clears throat> whatever or uh, dex? No. I mean, it's, you know, it, it, it's throwing a hot dog down a hallway. So Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if that's ours or not. So, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you give the old heave ho to the box, uh, Camille. Jesus, I gotta get you, out of here. You you look over and Maurice is slumped in a, a crevasse. 
uh, and seems to have been caught. Uh, Zadar, you heave it in for Frodo. <laughs> watch it go down. Watch it go down. Watch it go down. Big plume of steam rises, wafts up over the side. Uh, go ahead and give me a con check. Oh, shit. Both of us. Both us. Mil and Zidar. What? Uh, you, you, see, you called a con check. Is it for both of us? or? Nope, just you, because the other two are nearly incapacitated. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, con check. Uh, 20, not natural. You manage to move your head to one side. The steam rises up, billows over the volcano. Uh, as you kind of hide your face, you look over at this beautiful lush landscape covered in green. I mean, this is a nice island. Uh, the, no population, very beautiful. Uh, you wait a second or two, you notice that the steam is uh, dissipating quickly, and you look back into the volcano and give me a perception check. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good. 18 plus 8. <laughs> uh, very nice. You notice <clears throat> there is no gas coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. You can hear Maurice and Camille starting to choke, uh, coming back to their senses. Uh, you notice there is no lava. You notice that where lava once was is now a darkish, grayish, what appears to be solid uh, sheet over the caldera. And there at the bottom sits the box. The box or the football <laughs> or the both? Yes. It has okay. not been destroyed. Uh, and the caldera is sealed. Wow. Crap. <laughs> um, well. the, stark, the stark voice of Maurice sounds out, did we do it? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> I mean. The problem is the package survived. Who knows that we were taking this package here? Mortimer J. Sneed and... Uh, Zephyr Zubek. Yeah. So I say there's no sign of anybody else around, is there? No. You have a bird's eye view up here. I say we call it good and get the hell out. I mean, who's going to come up here and like try to retrieve it? What? Well, well, it's actually doable now because <laughs> the book you know, sequel. Yeah, but nobody will know it's here. And then if there's no volcano. That's kind of a good thing, because people can live here. Just throwing things out. I, I think that logic's a little flawed. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Peter or uh, Homer Simpson. This will never trouble anybody again. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's go get some food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, did you destroy the ring? <laughs> uh, like you said. As far as I know. <laughs> oh God. Well, that's the other thing. It's just like I can't tell if this is an illusion or if this is real. Well, and here's the other thing. So if the item made the volcano stop, what are we gonna do to destroy it? I don't know. That is a very good question. Maurice leans over. Huh. Yeah. I thought there was lava there a minute ago. Me too. Yeah, there was. Potato. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Uh, Are there any big rocks that we could push over? As he moves his hand to lean back again, uh, a few small pebbles drop, cascade down the inside, Hit the caldera. So it seems pretty solid. Well, I mean, it wasn't boulders, but I mean, rocks yeah. hit it, and it's 
It ain't lava. Find something bigger. He <laughs> 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 shoves a stone by yay big. Let's see if he falls in. Oh, ah. God. 17. He does not fall in. Uh, pushes a portion of the lip in. Nice big boulder. Hey, yay big. Swack. <laughs> Went through. That's yeah, still down there. Okay. How far down is it? Yeah, how uh, far down? About 250 feet. Oh. <laughs> like I said, on the inside, uh, there's a lot of fissures. So. Yeah. So if I cast. I have a way <laughs> that I can get down there, but. No. Uh, I don't know if I want to do it because I don't trust this. Thunder wave? What are you going to thunder wave? You're going to like shoot it down into the caldera to see what happens? Yeah. It's that's up a, to you. It's your spell slot. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty big spell. If you're facing something, you might need that spell. Just think. Oh, okay, well, we'll keep that then. Uh, uh, let's see. I could go. I can cast spider climb and walk down the sides of the wall for like a hundred and twenty feet, and then fire a magic missile to see what sure. it'll do. Do you want the other two to go with you? No, I don't think I. I think I can only cast it on myself, right? I think right. it's a self cast. Yeah. Do you want the other two to crawl down? No, not what Maurice is to. curious. He goes, you know, if you get down there, you'll be alone, and you know, we'll have to repopulate the earth. <laughs> Just saying. Dear God, is this dogma? <laughs> well, we have rope, so I would want to attach rope to him. Sure. Okay. Uh, and right. there, there are plenty of things to attach it to okay. here. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how much rope you got? I've got fifty. <laughs> so, be near the bottom somewhere. So I'm thinking I could. Uh, at some point, I'm. You're muted. Mm. She's muted. I have a yeah. pet mouse. It doesn't really say anything else. <laughs> you know, I do have omen. <laughs> That's true. Take me, take me about 10, 10 minutes to call him, because there's there's nothing going on right now. I mean. Uh, there's no rumbling, uh, there's no heat, there's no steam. Uh, it's almost as though you killed the uh, volcano. So how heavy was the box? Yeah, about a pound and a half. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and summon Omen. Uh, it's going to be a 10-minute ritual. I mean, I could do that. I've got, got some incense. Sure. Okay. All right, uh, so for 10 Ma minutes, I'll Maurice start to is, do that. Maurice is going to keep dropping rocks down there. <laughs> okay. So, so Zadar will do that. He'll begin calling, uh, casting Find Familiar. Sure. And yeah. after 10 minutes, he'll summon, summon Omen. Uh while you're doing that, Camille, you will notice that uh, Maurice uh, seems to be playing a game where he is trying to get one stone closest to the other stone. He says his uncle Peytonk taught him this game. Oh, my God. Those of you with French lore. <laughs> Dice. Uh, it was almost Uncle Bocce, but that sounded too Star Warian. Uh, so 
<clears throat> he's actually having a grand old time now that he can breathe. Uh, no worse for the wear, no uh, lingering injuries or anything like that. Uh, you get a hold of Omen after 10 minutes. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, Omen's going to take the form because Zadar saw a regular one in it in cacophony somewhere so he's gonna he's gonna have them take the form of a flying monkey that's one of the familiars that they can take yeah it's a little monkey from chult that has wings yeah where did you see a flying monkey at i saw a monkey and i got a he has a tressum form and i can bind the two (laughs) all right so yeah you uh, have a little flying monkey but it's one of those shitty monkeys (laughs) Not one of the angry wizard Vaz monkeys. Right, right. It is. It's like a rhesus yeah. monkey with uh, wings. Like right, sock, sock right. <laughs> yes. It's a sock monkey. It's so- sock That's my monkey. familiar as a sock <laughs> monkey. Nice, so- nice. Oh no, you better get the fuck out of here! <laughs> exactly. Oh man, oh man. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to look up how much weight it can pick up all right all right it's got a it's got a flying speed of 30 feet Uh, what's its falling speed you can just throw it in (laughs) billy white shoes johnson spike his ass right right uh yeah, I mean, it, it should be able to carry at least five pounds. So. Sure. Okay. That okay. should shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. Uh, All right. I tell him, and he's a little, you know, can, can you see through Omen's eyes? Mm-hmm. I can. Oh, okay. I'm going to be blinded, but right. I'll, I'll see through Omen. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, as he gets down to the base of the caldera, he notices mineral deposits along one ridge uh, down along the edge. Uh, expensive shit. Uh, not, not your cheap shit stuff. Uh, when he gets down, he notices that the box itself seems to have been Philadelphia experiment melded into the stone so he's so i i'm as omen trying to lift it and it's just like okay you can tell that one corner of it seems to be embedded when the lava froze over yeah so this isn't going anywhere (laughs) not with omen's strength it's not no no i mean is this thing going to be like you know, Molnir, you know, only the worthy can. <laughs> are, are you telling these two what's going on? Uh, yes, because I can talk. Not, not Omen, but, you know, I'm just blind and I, I'll relay <laughs> all this information. Uh, well, you hear the. My trusty club can probably knock that out. Well, I guess he could throw. His... Can Omen use a club? Omen can't. Um, Omen can't. I mean, he can carry more, a club, more, but he won't Maurice, be able to. Maurice has the club. His yeah. Louisville slugger. Yeah, he won't be able to swing it. <laughs> so. Uh, well, that's kind of dangerous to send. What are? There. That's kind of dangerous, Maurice. We we don't know. I mean, it looks. Solid. Dangers are business. We're adventurers. Uh... Of course, but that's a limit. Um, I mean, I, I don't have cool stories like you, Camille. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to have them. It's okay. Thanks. I, 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 too, would like to become a hero just like you guys. And I tell you about the time I killed a ninja, Maurice. <laughs> so, Camille, do you want me to go down there and see that thing? <laughs> that was a four. <laughs> Your yeah. stories suck for you. Yeah, they do. I tell Maurice, I said the odds. He's not a kid. Kids love ninjas, so the that would have been a riveting really story. The odds are against you because if you do get it to go down, then probably the volcano is going to open back up, and you're going to be right down there with the lava coming up, and it's not going to be good, and you'll be like a roast chicken. Well, I don't look like it, but I'm pretty fast. I'm like X12 from Daniel Tosh. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. God. Uh, 
he 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 is offering his services uh he's like we could all go down there maybe tie a rope to it maybe pull it free that way to pull the box uh, back because i don't think you destroyed it mm -mm. no no so no the um, item is in the box right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what happens if we open the box to get you the item out and then throw it you yeah, but the box is not going to be able to open since it's partially <clears throat> embedded. He's he spoiled my uh, gotcha, but he is correct. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Also, you remember what happened in the tower? Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, big crater. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> um. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is, this is yeah. This is a conundrum. And, and, and Maurice is. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you. And he's kind of. <laughs> giving us the gun show. Kind of no gun show. Yeah. No gun show? Uh, let's see. Well, he's been here for a while, you know. Uh, well, now this hand. <laughs> so I guess he's right-handed then. That's right. He's, he's a righty. Uh, righty, righty. Um, okay. That hand, uh, that arm looks like the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke, but uh, never mind. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm so... gonna gonna fly back. Okay. So, and I'm looking around as I'm flying back. I'm checking out those mineral deposits. Am I seeing like shinies? You're seeing like diamonds. Mm. Which is typical around a volcano. So mm -hmm. Yeah, you're you're seeing kind of this size fucking chunks. So how wow. about if I cuz I have uh undead thralls, can I animate my the lion thingy and send him down there? Uh. Uh. You got to go down there to get it. Well, no, I can just send the lion down to try to break through the stock. The lion's down the mountain <laughs> to the side of the volcano. Right. Yeah. So, well, you're. How are you going to get the bony lion? Mm. I don't have that spell in here. It's undead thralls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your animated creatures creates more and better skeletons and zombies. Much more better? Much more, says much more better. Uh, I mean, you can go back down the mountain, get the fucking thing. Climb guess, back up. I get, yeah, climb back up and throw it in, I guess. Mm. One thing's for sure, you ain't going to find no fucking skeletons in the place that was formerly on fire. Right. <clears throat> um... Zadar will, will say if Do we have any bomb making stuff? Uh no, Kyle's character is not present. Yeah, yeah. So But I could go with my flame <laughs> I can cast spells. Yeah. I can cast spells through through the familiar. Okay. Uh I'm gonna connect with Omen again and then fly uh, close enough to it, and uh, I'm going to fire a magic missile. Sure. Okay. Uh, should I should I aim for the box or for the caldera itself? Okay. Now keep in mind, there are two items in that container. Yeah. One <laughs> is the cursed piece of shit that you got from the Tower of the Curd. Mm -hmm. Right. The, the other is an unknown item, a gemstone from Mortimer J. Sneed, who just got back from time. Right. Uh, I'm going to fire the magic missile at the surface of the caldera to test it to be absolutely sure. So sure. I'm going to go ahead and let the magic <coughs> missile fly. Okay. okay. Uh, that's, uh, I'm just sending out one dart and it's, um, uh, yeah, only like a total of five force damage. Maybe some scraping. 
okay. maybe a little etching into the surface, but, but it's pretty uh, no, solid. No fissures, no cracking, okay. no breaking. Okay. No ticket. All right. Did I see like how how far that thing is embedded in it? Like the box, the the container itself <clears throat> would not be able to open. No, it would not be able to open. Okay. There was only a way that we could just <laughs> consume it all in stone and just leave it. Camille, would... you got anything like that? <laughs> I well, just. Mm -hmm. I guess I could go down and just cast Thunder Wave on it and sacrifice myself. What are you going to cast in Thunder Wave on? Are you talking about the caldera itself mm -hmm. or the, the the surface of the caldera or yeah. just the go box? Go down to the box and go poof. And then I'll die. But the Again, box will be destroyed. Flawed logic. <laughs> Um, Maybe she's the plucky comic relief. Yeah, yeah. She's, it goes she's poof the and psych. I get like, flown up and I land, you know, somewhere. It's all about the heat shield at this point. Right, right. Oh, God. Okay. Um, Folks at home, this is what I anticipated the big conundrum on how the to. The big conundrum is exactly this. what it is. <laughs> So, uh, I say we just cover it with shit and call it good and go home. <laughs> <laughs> Put some leaves on there. Right. Nobody will, nobody will ever think of look here. That's right. Z Zadar take a, takes take a take, poop on it. And, yeah, Zadar anyway. takes out his 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 spell book and looks to see if there's anything in there that he can use. <laughs> it would take a day to prepare, but. I don't know how long those Minotaur are going to wait for us. That is true. Uh, but from this particular spot on the island, you cannot see the Minotaur ship. But you can see uh, around, and this place is gorgeous. It is a tropical paradise in the North Sea. It's a vegetative paradise. And Maurice himself... Uh, now doesn't give two shits about the box. He is, he is looking around every mm -hmm. once in a while. You know, I, I, and I'm fresh water over there. I'm telling Maurice, it's just like Maurice. There is something I was, I'm going to ask you. <clears throat> you said you wanted to stay here on this island, or you'd be most likely to stay here. I can see myself living here. Okay. Do you understand what's in the side of the this mountain? What from what I've seen? I have no idea what this is. I tell him. I tell him I've seen precious gems in the side of this mountain. Living here, I don't see a market for them. No, no. But there's us. We know it's here. One of the things that I propose. <clears throat> is that the meal and I could try to take as what we can carry in gems and perhaps get a ship and come back with everything that you need to build a home here. In exchange for? You be the guardian of this box. I... Shouldn't we bring it up then? I mean, I I don't mind being the guardian, but maybe we should bring it up. But don't you think that that's the reason that the volcano became inactive? Clearly, that is a conundrum that you have to I mean, solve. Because why, I mean, my have... conundrum is... Would Mortimer have anticipated this as a probability that could happen? Give me an insight check. Maybe Mortimer means for us to stay here. An insight check? Mm -hmm. uh, 
insight. Or a very insightful 10. He said that to destroy it in the volcano. So maybe he means go beat it to death. Oh, since, since you got a 10. Yeah, since I got a 10. That's what I took from that. Uh -huh. All right. You know, have a nice little little structure right there, right next mm -hmm. to the groves. Yeah, I can see me doing that. Oh, yeah, I can see you doing that, too. Uh, yeah, he's uh, a million miles away. He's trying to figure out what his structure is going to look like and all that shit. Yeah, he he's liking the idea that I said come back with a ship for, for him, the materials for him to build a home. You know, uh, to be the guardian of a, an artifact is a very heroic feat indeed, and I can That's see true. myself doing that. Yeah. They would sing songs about you. That I'd never hear. Well, I mean, if if there was boat traffic, eventually you would. Oh, so you're going to make this a cruise line destination. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's... Let's go see what can be done. And um, I say we make the climb down one of the gem encrusted sides of this volcano and try to take as what we can chisel away. I've got some climbing tools. Well, the gemstones are a, a small ring at the base of the caldera. So you said it's minerals though, correct? Diamonds specifically. Diamonds. That's it, just diamonds. Diamonds. Uh, just diamonds. <laughs> diamonds the size of a man's fist, for fist. God's sake. Yeah. Uh, it, I, I mean, if you look around, there's probably rubies and other right. items that you'd find around a volcano. But the only thing that Omen saw was the translucent diamonds. Yeah. So, I mean, we could go down for a closer inspection. I mean... <laughs> We've done, done about everything to see how silent. Look, if we're going to die, we might as well die in a blaze of glory. That's true. You know? True. So, so, yeah. You want me to bring my whopper with me? Yeah, you bring might the, as well. Bring the whopper. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this. We'll pry okay. that thing out, and I'll guard it with my life. My honor is my life. That my be honor like is cool my code. Slogan. <laughs> Shout okay. out to the dragon lance. <laughs> I think he nice. just sits there and goes, Oh god, stupid man. So you guys okay. want to go down in there? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna you, go down. You find a vast amount of handholds in here. Uh okay. there's a lot of obsidian, so some of the spots Ooh. are sharp. I like obsidian. So three more rolls to get down to the base. Uh, if you fail, it will most likely result in cuts. Okay. 20. Uh, 13. Uh, are we adding any modifiers now? Straight up D20s and you need three of them. Okay. All right. Let me, let me, 20, I got 18 and 12. Ah, you threw away all your good rolls. Better hope there's not combat <laughs> coming up. Well, I, yeah, I think I did. Because <laughs> I got a nat 20. Maurice got a nat 20. He got a 19 and a 16. Okay, all three of you moment. make it down to the base, which yeah. was formerly lava. You can all feel some heat. Uh, but it's... Uh, radiant heat uh it, it's not enough to burn you so mm -hmm. the layer of the caldera must be somewhat thick at least uh because it's not like you're getting a hot foot you are at the edge uh mm -hmm. the box itself is a good 40 yards away kind of in the center uh looking around here it's high noon so the sun is just piling in here uh, you can see on the far side is where the mineral deposit is. Uh, the caldera is kind of a gray, dusty slate, uh, but it seems to have like veins running through it, almost like it's now granite. Uh, there is nothing here. 
Uh, the faint acrid aroma is still present because it's only been like an hour. Uh, but there's nothing inside this place. Okay, so I go over and I march over to the box to see if it's actually... <gasps> Well, she's the lightest out of yeah, all exactly. of us, so and able to be opened, or if it's been like fused. calcified, yeah, it is fused. So that box uh, is not coming open. Huh? You, you notice that uh, no cracks, no wobble, no nothing. Uh, and as you're peering into it, you're looking at where the uh, connecting points are. <sighs> that thing's fused in there. Uh, and Maurice leans over your shoulder. I probably want that thing out of there. Uh, I, can't, uh, I say we just leave it here. Because again, if you well, want, well, okay, here's the thing. You want it, the box opens. We're fucked. You want it, and we open up the caldera. We're fucked. You leave it here, forces of evil get it, everybody's fucked. How would the forces of evil you know it's here? There's three of us. <laughs> we kill yeah, Maurice, Marta, Mar and there's Mar just us no, two. The Grand Academy knows we're here. So. Do they know why? Mortimer At least Mortimer and Zephyr, and Zephyr do. do, and the other professor. We so. kill them all. Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. There was a Dexter, wasn't there? Uh huh. I forgot that. And Richie. Richie knows uh -huh. where you're at. Uh -huh. But uh, and the, why? the the Minotaur. They know Not where you're. To your knowledge, uh, everybody on the Minotaur ship knows you're there. Yes, right. but do they know why we're here? Uh, they know that you have to dump something in the volcano. Yeah, that's all they know is that we had something to do with that. And now we come um, back and say, hey, we were successful. It's all done. <laughs> and they know uh, what they delivered to Mortimer because they are the ones that brought the other item in. Well, yeah, but so you they think know... they opened the box and saw what it was? It's the transporter. Min you don't look in the package. Minotaur pirates would never examine. No, they would never examine it. So they they know full Dibble well what Fibbit it is. Would fibbit the shit out of them. Right. No, they opened it. They know what it is, or they 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 at least saw something. So mm -hmm. possibly of value. <clears throat> Maurice becomes bored uh, and begins to wander around. Oh, God. Uh, and he points out that the stone here is outstanding. This is like nice stuff. Mm -hmm. This is very nice. He goes over and he looks uh, and, well, these aren't translucent, but if these were translucent, uh, they're just peppering the far wall. And you see him. Oh, boy. And okay. cranks into it. Uh, okay. there, there's a huge shatter uh, as part of his club comes off, and you hear ding, 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 ding. And he, he begins to go over and pick up the items, and he walks over to you guys. Do you guys want this stuff? Sure. <laughs> He gives you... I mean, I appreciate it, Maurice, but we're trying to figure out this issue here. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go knock the rest of it out. All and... right, you take care of that and <coughs> carry our share he, for us. He's over there, bam, he goes over, picks up some of the larger rocks, and he's smashing it in. It's like goes... 2001, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh. His, his club is not holding up very well against diamonds and rock. Uh, mm -hmm. So he, he spends a good 15, 20 minutes. He's smashing that shit out. Okay. And I, I mean, you know, you've got thumb size flakes, but I mean, you're getting this and fucking fist size. Uh, this is a lot of money. Yeah. If you could get it back to civilization. Yeah. Huh. We're going to be on a ship full of pirates with a shitload <laughs> of diamonds. They don't and, need to know that. 
Oh, they'll figure that one out. And they'll then figure it out. they'll figure out that it came from the volcano. Mm -hmm. Unless we put it in the lion carcass. <laughs> okay, all these conundrums, I swear. This is where, where the DM says our players are idiots. Right. <laughs> you, know? I, you know what? I, when, I, when I wrote this, uh, and it's been a few months ago when I perceived this as an option, I wanted to make it wide open uh, because in the event that we do not end cacophony, there is room for growth. I mean, right. If you guys can get out of here with this money... Yeah, you'll live like kings, but what are you going to do about the box? Uh, and that is the major conundrum. It doesn't always have to be about big fights. You know, this box is at the least problematic, added with whatever the fuck Mortimer put in it. Mm -hmm. Probably twice as bad. He right. expected it to be destroyed when it went into the volcano, but it didn't. It ain't destroyed. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm like. Uh, if the how how would... how is the the box? Are we able to get it open, or he it's battered fused. the box and it's just staying? It's fused. That's why yeah. I'm like. Maybe we just need to go back and talk to Mortimer and say, "Look, this is what happened." Yeah. Nobody's getting that box. You is got anything much to say what about it? What it's turned into. So, it's not destroyed, but it's immovable. About so. that time you hear a scraping noise. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, you look over and Maurice is on his hands and knees, and he's got this huge fucking diamond shard, and he, he's... Maurice, okay, what are Maurice, you doing? I don't so, know if that's a good idea. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm putting Camille Zadar and Maurice were here. Oh. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> How okay, far did he get? <laughs> so it's like the guy from The Hangover. <laughs> yeah, he, he's etched in about an inch. I mean, did he spell out the words Camille Zadar and Maurice? C-A-M is what he's gotten to. Okay. Just leave that. <laughs> it's important for posterity that other people know that we were here first. That's an honor I don't think we need to, to set out there right now, Maurice. So but he kind of scooches over on his knees and he begins a, something else. He's going to put his own name in there. Okay. I think it's yeah. important for me. I, You know, you guys get to be heroes all the time. I don't get to do much. I want to be first. So I'm, I'm going like, to put my name in here. I don't know if this is going to turn out well, Camille. So is he putting the name like on the floor or on the side? Floor. Oh, on the man. floor. Uh, Maurice, can you put your name on the <laughs> side and not the floor? Well, this is flat. Well, no, I understand that, but I'm concerned God. about the... <laughs> Diamonds on stone. Uh, yeah, that's that's not a good combination. But all right, so all right, you we guys got... want to go over and look? Yeah, we'll sure. go take a look. You go over and look, and you see C A M, and he's up to M A U. Uh, it's etched in about an inch. Uh, nothing. Yeah, nothing. He's like, what are you worried about? There's no heat here. I'm not I'm not breaking through to the lava. I'm not going deep. But you know, I bet we could dig your box out with this. Let's give it a shot. He hands it over to you. Okay. Can I finish my name first? Finish your name. <laughs> he gives you a different one uh and it's it's pointy you know it looks like uh -huh. a teardrop uh and you know he just kind of waves you away as he goes ahead and finishes etching and maurice was here uh if you two want to go ahead and try and dig out the box uh -huh. feel free where zadar tells camille 
just be ready to get the hell out of here if you can just get off the side of the thing if anything happens Mm -hmm. so all right so zadar will begin maurice i think he's on the spectrum so if we need to leave him that's fine (laughs) so yeah zadar yeah with the diamond and um his 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 hammer is gonna lightly kind of chisel away at the Sure. Remains of the uh, the diamond is extremely, uh, it's the hardest substance known. Uh, and you battering it in with a hammer uh, seems to be chipping away at the confines of the box. Okay. How long do you want to chisel? How far down uh, does, uh... I don't know the dimensions of the box, so I probably have me, no concept. Of... Check. Okay. You know, it's symmetrical right natural 20. yeah you can figure out you know from the distances available and the depth uh you're gonna have to chug out about three four inches maybe okay maybe maybe less if it's loosened okay i'm gonna go ahead and try to do that okay you know camille what are you doing i'm just just keeping watch over everybody keep a lookout be ready to run yeah Yeah, there ain't shit in here well no i know but what yeah the floor falls right no 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 that's fine uh he's tapping away maurice is uh and and he seems to be i don't know writing an epiphany or something maurice it's not a goddamn tree uh Um, he, he keeps blowing the dust away I stop for a moment and turn to Camille. I say, you know, if those Minotaur get curious, they're going to come looking for us. You think? They won't just go away? Uh, they know what we were carrying, or somewhat. So. Well, we can always just throw them down here. Nice. And then light it. Uh, do you want to check on Maurice or just keep an eye on the region that Zadar is working on? Okay. Zadar will keep working on it, so if you want to check out what Maurice is doing, I I think we're kind of being steered in that direction, so... <laughs> no, I those are the only two points of interest. I just yeah. kind of go back and forth. Sure. Making uh, sure no one's, like... Digging in. Bleeding digging out. Floor. Uh, Maurice is actually drawing a caricature of you, uh, and it's very flattering. Oh, wow. uh, from a side, like uh, you'd see on a coin, you go back to Zadar. Zadar is chipping away, moving the dust away. Uh, seems to be making good progress, but it's going to take two hours. Uh, in those two hours, Maurice finishes the Maurice was here, the Camille side face, uh, as well as, uh, you know, your names. He puts Camille's name underneath the caricature, uh, puts Zadar in there. I'm uh, hearing pictures of you by the cure play while he's doing this. Exactly. <laughs> gets done, gets bored, uh, picks up the rest of the diamond chips. Uh, mm-hmm. th- these would be the smaller ones. Uh, is it done yet? I'm trying. So I run over and I kiss him on the lips. Is it R? No. Yeah, which one of us? <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, he, he's naturally enthused and reciprocates. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sure to... Maurice would have been cool with the other way, I'm too. I'm trying to distract him. <laughs> oh, yeah, it distracts him, all right. Okay. All right. So, Zadar, how far does Zadar get? After two hours, uh, you think you can give that thing a tug because it, it's kind of loose mm-hmm. uh, and y- you are concerned genuinely of digging any deeper for fear of cracking this caldera and really fucking life up. Um, So uh, Maurice is quite calm now, but keeps looking at Camille, you know, trying to get a read on her. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. uh, He's watching and he, he also notices that it's wiggling. Are you going to pull it out or what are we doing? Yeah. Zadar's going to, Try to try to yank it out. I was just like, just be prepared to get up the side of this thing as, as fast as you can. Give me a strength check. 
All right. So, because we know that's Zadar's strong suit. Uh, with a whopping, I mean, I'm a strength modifier, uh, 15. <clears throat> 15 is what you need. Uh, you give it a huge yank using every uh, molecule of strength you have and you jettison it free. Uh, you slide backwards. The box lands on your chest. Uh, Camille, give me a perception check. 19 for Maurice. 17. Both of you notice black smoke billowing out of the gap from where the box was. Damn Maurice it. yells, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, the smoke pours up about seven feet and begins to form a shape. Damn it. Humanoid in nature with uh, the outlines of the muscles appear to be red. Uh, it looks almost like some kind of lava creature has emerged from the gap. Now it's time for the BBG. Line so the everybody, gap. roll it. Oh, I go Jesus! Pee first, you can go pee because I got a four. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, eighteen for Zadar. <laughs> uh, sixteen for Camille. <laughs> Five uh, for Lover Boy. Uh, so Zadar, Camille, and I'm going to put him down as LB, lover, boy. Uh, what do you want to do, Zadar? You are Well, my first back. instinct would be to run, but that would give this thing an opportunity of attack. Most assuredly, because this thing is a BBG. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, with that, <laughs> Zadar, holding the box, casts Invisibility. Sure. Okay, so, and that'll be my action this turn. Good enough. Uh, as soon as Camille gets back, we will see what she does. Uh, you will not kill it. <laughs> I'm going to make my way to uh, Camille and Maurice. Sure. And if I've got, uh, fuck, I know the rules. Damn it. If I try to commit, ca cast invisibility on them, You're my right. invisibility will drop. Correct. Okay. But Camille has invisibility. I know that. So. Sure. You guys can go invisible and watch Maurice get killed. <laughs> we'll try to get Maurice out of there, too. <clears throat> so uh, Zadar has gone invisible. Yeah, I, I know. I called him a cocksucker, too. <laughs> I'm heading towards her. <laughs> is Gwyneth Paltrow's head still in the box? Yeah, you do. We'll see. Okay, Camille, uh, you're on one side of this thing. Uh, Lover Boy's on the other side, and Zadar has blinked out of existence. Yep. So it's in the middle of us? Yes. Damn it. You know what? In case we die. I'm going to class fog cloud. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Zadar has made his way to Camille. I had, what, 30 feet of movement? So how mm -hmm. far was Camille? They, they were a ways away while I was doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, also, you need to give me a perception check, Zadar. Yeah. Uh, 14 plus 8. Uh, the box, when you freed it from its stony bond, fractured and is missing one of the corners. Uh, okay, so you drop fog cloud? Yes. 
Going well, back to my roots. On the other side of this cloud that descends, all you hear is, holy shit, I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear, whoosh. Oh, dear Lord. Whoosh. Uh, he's going to attack at disadvantage. Wow, 19 and a 5. <laughs> he, he almost brought the heat. Uh, you hear a pop, a sizzle, and the fog burns off rapidly as this thing emoliates uh, and is just covered in flames. Uh, it's about seven and a half feet tall right now. Looks like something from a, the uh, wrong side of hell. Uh, back to the top of the order with Zadar. Okay. Uh, I am using my movement speed to get my ass over to Camille and Maurice. Sure, you'll be there this round. Okay. So, uh, that's, <laughs> that's my movement. Uh, my action, I'm still concentrating on invisibility. And, uh, yeah, just making my way there. Making my way back to you, babe. So sure. You're there. Uh, Camille, you're up. Um, well, I don't have much for this kind of thing. Well, you do have one thing. What? That's true. Underwave. Oh, is that appropriate? Uh, yeah. Fire's not going to hurt this thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's do that then. Am I safe? Are you shitting me? What did you roll? A nat one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But you also have something else too. So how many spell slots you have? You have pulse wave as well. Well, first off, let's do the thunder wave. Yeah, uh, thunder I, wave I, first. I failed. So what do I roll? Oh. I think it's 3d6 or something like that. And I think yeah. your guy needs to do a constitution check. I oh, I failed. I got a one. Oh, yeah, you got the one. Yeah, yeah I got a one. I'm looking I under my magnifying glass and I can't tell. You use Thunder Wave, right? Yep. That's only a first level spell? Holy shit. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can cast it as a second level spell. Yeah, you can upcast it. Increase the damage. Okay. Uh, so fail save is 2d8, so if you cast it as a second level spell, it'll be 3d8. Let's go with that. <clears throat> and he will be pushed back 10 feet. Okay, so... <clears throat> Not that I'm promoting it and all that, but may I suggest if we continue D and D Beyond for Camille, <laughs> it'd be a lot easier to read. <laughs> Agree. Well, not really, because D and D Beyond font is small. That's why you can ten. 10 total? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you get a long way to go and a very short time to get there. Uh, however, the creature is pushed back 10 feet, uh, and that is going to buzz him past um, uh, Maurice, who's going to get his attack and an attack of opportunity on the backswing. Uh, with because his Louisville is, slugger. Yep, with his fractured Louisville slugger, probably giving him painful splinters. So his main attack the natural. is an eight. So not even remotely close. His backswing is a 16. And that hits. Hmm. And there's your murder hobo. Uh, it comes to a screeching halt as its talons dig into the stone, giving Camille a scar mm. on the floor and calls forth a ball of flame and aims for <laughs> sorry Maurice <laughs> oh no an 11 
plus three, 14. That hits. Wow. And that hits hard. This is going to suck. <laughs> uh, no, it is not because my dice rolls continue to blow. <laughs> uh, however, Maurice now has no hair, no eyebrows, and his clothes are on fire. Top of the so order. Be naked. Round three, Zadar. It falls to the walls now. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Ugh. All right. With that, Zadar is gonna. Uh, as he does it, he's gonna break it. I I know I don't get sneak attack on spells. I'm not that level yet, but uh, I'm gonna turn and fire ice knife. Sure. Uh, at the creature. That will break your invisibility. Yeah, I'm aware. Uh, and and FYI, team... you're on a dusty floor. It already knew. It, it was already broken. Yeah, 19 to hit. Oh, yeah. Okay. For some reason, this thing is easy to hit. Okay. Oh, actually. All right. I thought it had more hit points than that. Okay. All right. It is going to hit for... 10 points of piercing damage, but it's going to explode mm -hmm. uh, for... <coughs> uh, sorry, it's covering my font. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's going to take an additional 2d6 uh, frost damage. Uh, for a big whopping total of 3. So 13 points of uh, frost damage. Camille, it's clear that the demon is walking back towards you. Can I do Thunderwave again? Yes, you have uh, that spell slot. Right. Like and I am um, first level. And I'm out of the way for the moment. So, <laughs> so yes. Uh, that is a fucking seven on his save. Uh, that fails again. So what do I need to roll? 3d8? Uh, 2d8, or if you're upcasting at second level, 3d8. 3d8. Now that's two uh, spell slots at second level that are gone. Nine. Uh, Maurice uh, takes an aggressive posture, uh, even though he you is can quite, do it. quite weak, and says, I'm going to send you back to hell where you belong. And heaves ho going for the fence with a three. <laughs> and he, he misses. Uh, the demon begins to walk towards you guys going after Zadar as it passes by Maurice you can see the flames off its body expand and it causes two more hit points to Maurice who collapses Aww. on the floor smoldering uh, a lot of good those berries did yeah, <laughs> uh, he does not look good uh the Minotaur then throws another ball of flame at the Minotaur? I'm sorry. The, the, uh, I was going to say, thing. do we have friends? <laughs> uh, seven. You don't have friends until this coming round. Uh, seven. It's going to miss as it hurls flame over your head, Zadar, and okay. it is your turn. All right, because, yeah, I was going to uncanny dodge that shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zadar is going to return fire. Uh Waving his hands around like this, he casts Chromatic Orb and mm -hmm. shoots an orb to him. 19 to 16 to hit. 16 does hit. Uh, let's see. All right. Roll. Yeah. 19 points of frost damage. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Camille, 
your love monkey is down uh, and the creature is headed towards both of you. <clears throat> can I do a chill touch? If you want to step up and hit it, you can. Well, yeah. Oh, boy. Ah, you got lucky there. Go ahead and hit it. Feeling lucky, punk? Um, 17. Hits. Okay. And... You yell out, freeze, motherfucker! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, can somebody tell me what I need to roll for damage? Uh, chill touch is... I think it's another D8. Chill touch necromancy is... 1D8, and it can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn. Okay. Until then, the hand clings to the target. And it will have disadvantage on attack rolls against you until the end of your next turn. So five. Uh, actually, it increases uh, at fifth level to D8. Oh, so five. So five plus six. Eleven. Nicely done. Uh, it howls in pain, but the flames around its body push steam at you and you take three hit points of damage uh and then you hear and a large boulder comes into the caldera omg <laughs> with a two uh it lands next to five Maurice, uh, you look up quickly and see the pair of Minotaur that were stranded on the island with you throwing a boulder and nearly killing Maurice outright. Uh, <laughs> and now it's time for his first death save. Uh. 14. Uh, top, uh, or now it is the creature's turn. Uh, it will do a claw attack and a hurl flame at the minotaurs on camille even zadar two even zadar uh 16 plus seven so 23 to hit you okay i'm gonna uncanny dodge the damage oh Sixes, uh, 12 damage takes six. It hurls flame, but the flame uh, peters out before it can reach the top of the volcano. Uh, some Do either one of you speak infernal? Oh, uh, what? Jokes <clears throat> uh, ba, ba, ba. Languages. No. No. <laughs> okay. Deep speech, but not infertile. Sounds an awful lot like it's swearing. Top of the order, round four, Zadar. Okay. <clears throat> well, that shit sucked. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, three darts are going to come out at him as magic missile. Sure. All right. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Okay. First is three. Mm -hmm. Second is three. And the third is three. So three, three, three. Nine. Not bad. Doesn't seem to have the effect that you'd hoped uh, for whatever reason. Camille, you're up. What is it doing? Uh, it was reeling in pain from the chill touch. That really had a positive effect on it, or a negative effect, as the case may be. Uh, Zadar's magic missiles found their mark. Um, the Minotaur nearly killed Maurice. Maurice is 
plus one on the death save, so he's okay. So I'll do magic missile as well. Sure. And what do we have to roll? 3d4 plus three. <clears throat> Are you still holding the box, Zidar? Uh, uh-huh. Uh. Your your uncanny dodge is gonna be sketchy at best. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Unless you want to use it as a shield. Sure. <laughs> sure, uh, let's use it. Nicely done. Uh, the Minotaurs. <gasps> With a three. <laughs> ah, the other side. I think they might be trying to kill uh, your associate. Uh, Maurice, oh, man. And that's, not the demon. <laughs> that's, that's two rocks. Death save. 14 again. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, He's persistent. Fuck it. He's going to do two claw attacks. First claw attack is a three. It's an R. Second claw attack is a two. Uh, Camille uh, still at disadvantage with Camille. So on Zadar, uh, 16 plus seven. Uh, mm -hmm. that'll hit. Yeah. 17, a three, a 10 will miss Camille. Uh, 2D, or D12 against me, uh, on so the shield. Dark. Yep. That's a 10. Uh, blah, 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 12. 11. Nice. Uh, you can uncanny dodge it. Okay. Uh, six and a four, 10, take five hit points of damage. Uh, top of the order, Zidar. Anybody right. want to yell at the Minotaur to tell him to aim better? <laughs> <laughs> now, they are throwing compact boulders. car boulders at him. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you'd think they'd be throwing at the flamey, bot, flamey guy. Well, they're, it's just one rock, and they're both having to heave it. Hmm. Yeah. Problem is, I mean, for me to fight, I gotta drop the box. But, uh, yeah, fuck. All right. Uh, I am going to mirror image. Fair enough. Uh, Camille, you're up. There are three more Zadars. I have that as well. I'll do that too. There are three more Camilles. Uh, the Minotaur. Let's hear it for a one. Uh -uh. <laughs> Eleven, uh, but not enough. It comes close to hitting uh, the demon. Death save. You hear a... <gasps> <laughs> and there is some slight movement from the limp body of Maurice. Uh, the creature is going to hurl flame this time and claw. Flame goes at uh, Camille. Claw uh, goes at Zadar. So the flame is not a disadvantage. That's a 15 plus 3, 18. I assume that will hit you. Yes. 4D10. 3, 3, 5, 4, 15 burn damage. Burn! Okay. So uh, you still up? <laughs> yeah. On Zidar. Uh, 14 plus 721. Uh, D12 against me. 10. 11 this time. Okay. Uh, 5 and 4 take 9 hit points of damage. Which Zadar did he hit or was he hit? Oh, that, all that's of right. Them? Uh, 
Now he would have. What do I have to roll? Oh, that's right. I had three, too. Oh, that's right. So let's see if I hit. So remind me, mirror image. Uh, Kyle's not here. I think three duplicates. Uh, let's see. Each time a target. I think it's like uh, six or below is what I mean. Yeah. Know. Yeah. So on Camille, a two. Eat the damage. Uh, Zadar, five. Eat the damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That thing is zeroed in on your ass. Top of the order, round five. Uh top of the order top of the order to you. Uh <laughs> Zadar uh aims his crossbow and fires for the creature. So you're dropping the box? One handed crossbow. <laughs> All right. So is it a hand crossbow? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's what rogues have. Uh, let's see. 14 to hit? Just shy. Uh, your oh, bolt shit. burns up and it's aura. Aura. Well, that sucked. Uh, Camille, you're up. I know I have Pulse Wave, but I don't have my card. I think that one is a save for me. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, Catapult. 30 foot, <laughs> 30 foot cone. Uh, mm. each, each creature in that cone must make a con saving throw. Are you going to aim it directly at the creature or angle it? Give me an insight check. Five. Your choice. I'll aim it at the creature. Fair enough. D12 against me. <laughs> if I can find a D12. Oh, there we go. Uh, seven. I have five. Uh, go ahead and I will make my con roll. 13 plus 4, 17. Roll 66. I will be taking half. Okay. One, two, three. I didn't dismiss Elman. He's still around, right? Six. Uh, it's been over an hour. Yeah, that's true. Uh, actually, it's been over two hours. We I... had to chip that thing out. 17. Half damage is 17? No, 17. Oh. Half that. Okay, got it. Ooh, that is not good. Uh, the good news is the creature stands its ground, which is excellent news because had it not, you would have wiped maurice off the face of the planet uh he is okay i'm not attached the, to him at this point for the time being uh, <laughs> the minotaurs give another heave ho uh that is going to be a problem as it narrowly misses the creature but hits the indentation caused by zadar steam rises out of the hole uh oh and the entire cavern deafens with a loud steam whistle effect. <laughs> Top, or uh, the creature's turn. Uh, it is going to claws three, six. 
Uh, one for each of you. Uh, the um, disadvantage is off on Camille. A three, so 10, I assume, misses you? Yes. Sadar, 11, does an 18 hit you? 18 does hit. Uh, oh, uh, can I instantaneously throw up a shield? Is it a reaction spell? It's a reaction spell. Yes. I've got a hand free. Uh, yeah, so my AC goes up five. So it doesn't hit. Yeah. Fair enough. The steam whistle is deafening. Uh, the creature does not look well. It is the top of the order. Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, Kill it. Zadar takes his scimitar holding on to it. He's going to try to try, you know, he's proficient with his scimitar, so he's going to he's going to make a one arm strike. Sure. Uh, let's see. You'll take five radiant heat damage. Uh, I'll do my best. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's going to be 22 to hit. Easily. Okay. And let's see. Uh, I slice into him for uh, 10 points slash slashing damage. That it? That's it. That's all I can. Oh, like I, 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 I would have an offhand, but I'm holding on to the package. So. Sure. Uh, Camille, the flames start to dissolve around this creature. It does not appear as though it has long to live, but you are up. I took an additional... Uh, chill touch. Nice. Uh, so that is an 18. 18 hits. And it is vulnerable to cold, i.e. double damage. So. Darn it. 2d8 mm -hmm. and 9 times 2 vulnerability 18 the rage demon explodes yes. sending shards everywhere both of you make dexterity saves Uh, for Zadar, uh, deck save 21. Nice. That's a shtick. 16. Both of you save. Both of you take eight hit points. Okay. Shard damage. Uh, the creature... It sharded. ...has imploded. It sharded all over itself. Uh, the Minotaurs drop one more boulder because they didn't know what happened. 19. Uh, they descend right where that fucking thing was for once, but it's already dead. You cannot hear. You can scream. Nobody can hear you. The steam whistle is going off. Give me a perception check. Sixteen. Uh, Sadar for perception. Uh, 17. <clears throat> what? Seventeen. Both of you notice fissures appearing on the floor. Oh, fuck. The caldera is cracking. Uh, you can hear the groan of uh, Maurice. He is alive. But he's gonna need help to get out of here, okay. or you can just leave his ass. So uh, Dar's gonna run up and like throw his arm with the football in hand and try to get his ass the out there. Gump thing. Yeah. So you've got the box in one arm, Maurice in the other. 
Right. Yeah, I'm at least trying to get to the side of the caldera. Sure. <laughs> so. No, that's fine. Uh, what are you doing, Camille? Yeah, I'm just trying to get the hell out. Fair enough. Uh, like I said, the climb, pretty easy. Uh, do you guys want to try and heal uh, Maurice so he can climb himself or no? He has the berries. <laughs> he does have the berries. So we can take them out of his pocket and shove them Where in his mouth. Where are they? <laughs> okay. as, you, as you reach into his pockets, he's got fucking diamonds everywhere. You're throwing it around. Give me an investigation check to see if you can find his berries as the... No, berries. <clears throat> That's right. Stuff his berries. I don't want to find one big one. 22. <laughs> you find the berries, stuff them into his mouth. He regains... Murder hubbo dice. Seven hit points. Uh, okay. Who am I? Why am I here? Am I the VP yet? Run! <laughs> You're a woman president. <clears throat> you guys are running towards the caldera. Uh, the minotaur, you can see him. They seem to be cheering you on or hoping that you die, taking bets, whatever. They're probably um, taking bets. <laughs> every, everybody roll me straight up D20. They're freaking pirates. Of course they're going to take bets. 17. 12. Uh, Camille, you are assholes and elbows running uh, like the wind. The other two, you know, Zadar's trying to help them along. They're moving. It's the cop buddy film before the explosion. They're running. The fissures seem to be following you guys. Oh, uh, crap. D20 roll. <laughs> 10. 17. 10. Uh, Zadar, noting that uh, Maurice has regained his strength. Baywatch playing in the background, running like hell. Running with, with the with the buoy. <laughs> with a football. Uh, Camille, you've got shorter legs. You are slowing down. Maurice, with taller legs, has caught up to you. You guys are running to beat the band. Uh, Running reach, with the wind. <clears throat> you reach the edge of the caldera. Light is just permeating through these cracks and creases as the entire caldera is about ready to blow. Up you go. Uh, mine the obsidian. So, three rolls. Dexterity. There you go. <clears throat> uh, okay. Dexterity? Okay. Yep. Cool. Okay, not bad. Uh, 18 for Zadar, the first one. Okay. Oh, God, I have five. I'm just going to roll the other two. Okay. Double 11s with my modifier. So, yeah. So, six. 18. 18. And 16. How many hit points do you have, Camille? Uh, like 35. Okay. Uh, you suffer 12 hit points of damage <clears throat> from cuts. Maurice suffers six. He has one hit point left. Uh, as you guys reach the top, the Minotaurs each grab a hold of your arm and do a clean and jerk. Uh... They throw you on their backs and they start hauling the mail. I'm uh, like, <laughs> each one of you roll a d20 for the minotaur you're riding on. Oh, oh God. Okay. Seven. Fifteen. <laughs> uh, now, the question is which one was Maurice riding? Odd Camille, even Zadar. Eleven odd uh riding with camille which makes sense uh zadar you and your guy take a tumble and suffer 16 hit points of damage yeah that that's gonna hurt me um but zadar's thinking i could have threw this would it have worked a second time to try to throw this thing in probably not would you like to go back up try well, that was the thing before they 
jerked us up, uh, Zadar was going to turn around and just, you know, do, do a Hail to, Mary. Do you want to chuck it in there? Hey. Oh, fuck. It's just going to do what it did, probably. But... Well, I mean, I'm away for it from it. If I've taken a tumble, then I, I'm out of the the range of the the thing, so I can't. So fair enough. Uh, as you guys reached about mid mountain, there is an incredible explosion behind you, and the caldera erupts, sending the stones everywhere. Uh, roll d twenty. If it's a one or two, you're getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. Four. Three. <laughs> uh, stones rack the side of the volcano, nearly striking Zadar and his Minotaur, nearly striking a barely alive Maurice. Uh, and as you get to the bottom, uh, the eruption stops. There is no lava pouring out. Uh, but the entire area is littered with that gray marble stone. Uh, <clears throat> you have the box. No diamonds. Yeah, I got the box. A lot of the diamonds were lost. But roll we have a, a lot of them. <laughs> ro roll a d10. Both of us roll a d10, or each one of you roll a d10. Five. Camille, you have a 4,000 gold piece diamond. Zadar has a 5,000 gold piece diamond. And uh, Maurice has a 4,000 gold piece diamond. He also has about... ...700 gold pieces in other diamond chips. Uh, he will give those to the Minotaur gratefully thanking them uh i don't think we can end cacophony yet so yes. we've gone a little over yeah. uh and we need to have some closure because you guys still have a box to get rid of uh that being said what'd you think david i liked it but my opportunity to throw it back uh went away when that damn minotaur grabbed me <laughs> so you know i'm grateful but that was a missed opportunity. <laughs> or, like you said, it could have just all happened again. Yeah. So, uh, Carrie, what'd you think? I never went kickoff needed end, so I'm very happy. <laughs> of course. Nice. Because it's all uh, about me. <laughs> sure. Uh, all about you and your uh, weird lovers. Because uh, I love my husband. That's right. Folks at home, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Sorry we ran over a little bit. Uh, it happens. Uh, and Kyle can rejoice gleefully. Yep. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about D&D. &D. Join our Discord. If you want a seat in the one shot this Saturday, hit us up. M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. We will try and get you in there. Uh, gates close tomorrow at noon. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for not killing these guys, but almost killing Maurice. Uh, oh, Maurice. And uh, if you want a sulfuric volcano, uh, maybe Adventure Sense at oddfishgames.com, we'll go ahead and do that. Don't forget, if you're going to Gen Con and have an hour or two to spare, they can use some help over at their booth. And don't forget their Kickstarter for How to RPG With Your Cats goes live this weekend. Check it out. Folks, we will see you on Saturday for a one-shot. We're going underwater. Uh, I knew uh, it, Frank. That's, that's weird that, you know, we just talked about that on Tuesday. Funny uh, how that happens. <laughs> uh, folks, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, dating Game Kiss and Wave, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, Bye, everybody. Thanks. And Muted. I think so. Yes, we're done.